Shall we begin? Welcome back in the Cheapo Spotlight today, the all new Unity UT136B Plus for your viewing pleasure. Let's take a look. The 136B Plus ships in your typical Unity box. Nice looking box is actually probably, I'd say, one of the premier uh, in terms of the overall look and sex appeal. Um, Unity definitely knows what it takes to put some sizzle in a multimeter. What do you get in that sizzling box? Well, you get a good set of leads. Yes, these look like those old fluke leads, don't they? Definitely these cheapos have taken it up a notch. These are once again, the uh, standard leads we see on all of the new Unities coming out. Test leads are rated 10 amps. Cat 2, 1000 volt, Cat 3, 600 volt. That's it, that's all. In terms of accessories, this meter is loosey-goosey with the extra stuff. It does not do temperature. That belongs to the 136C+. The 136B Plus is definitely a meter of fours. What do I mean by that exactly? Well, it's 4000 count. Threshold voltage minimum is 400 millivolts. Goes up to 40 mega ohm. And in terms of capacitance, yeah, you guessed it. 40 millifarad. Ah, somebody really on. fours. Anybody know which one is the 136B plus? Come on, no peeking. Yeah, you've got it. On the left. Yeah, that's right. Auto ranging probably gave it away. On the right, we have the 39C plus, which I reviewed about a year ago. Excellent multimeter, not auto ranging. Let's compare the two. First off, we can see there is a slight cosmetic difference. Um, Slightly more linear, the new 136B Plus. Um, a little more tapered in on the sides was the 39C Plus. And as well, if we look at that rotary selector switch, you got it. The off position is on the left, whereas it's at the 12 o'clock position on the 39C Plus. Feature set wise, pretty close. We have the standard select and hold as well. Same idea on the 39C Plus. Now, the biggest difference here is the lack of a temperature setting on the new 136B that was on the 39C+. Plus. Now, that is not to say you cannot get it. Yes, you can. If you buy the 136C+, Plus, you will get the temperature. A little tete -a tete head to head and you can see, once again, very, very similar. So not a whole lot of design changes over the last year. Finally, if we take a look at the back, once again, they are identical. Finally, the tilt stand. Once again, in the last year, nothing has changed. Unity has stuck with this nice, tried and true, quite solid tilt stand. I like it. It does not flop around. Easy to pull out and definitely easy to change the ranges. Speaking of ranges, let's start with the off position. Followed by volts AC up to 1000 volts. Volts DC up to 1000 volts. Millivolts AC DC starting at 400 millivolts. Continuity, diode, and resistance, up to 40 mega ohm. Capacitance, up to 40 millifarad. Frequency, up to, you guessed it, 4 gigahertz. Built-in transistor tester. Microamps, AC-DC. Milliamps, AC-DC. Finally, high current amps, AC-DC, up to 10 amps. Okay, let's get this potty started, and let's take off this Screen protector, I know guys, I am guilty of leaving these protectors on at times. Sorry, what can I say? I believe in a little bit of protection. That just doesn't sound right. Oh, beauty. Let's turn that meter on for the first time, shall we? Nice beep, letting us know we are in business. And you can see by default, we fall into the Volt AC mode. Display itself is nice and bold. Easy on the eye, standard liquid crystal display. Pretty good viewing angle, you can see it fairly well. Now, if we hold down on that blue button for around three seconds, the backlight is invoked. Now it says two seconds, but it's a more like a three or four. So uh, yeah, don't worry. Once it's on, you can see, um, yeah, definitely easy on the eyes. I do like the font. I do like what they've done with that screen. It's only 4,000 count, but nonetheless, it is looking good. Now, one really nice feature that you don't see on a lot of cheapos, heck, you don't even see it on a lot of multimeters, period, no matter what range, is the fact that this backlight, when you invoke it, it will stay on. Unlike 39C Plus, which only stayed on for about 35-45 seconds. 
This one's been on now for about oh seven, eight minutes. Still going strong. So hey, good stuff, Unity. Nice to see somebody was listening. I like it. All in all, I really like the new form functionality of the 136B+. Plus. The older 136B, if you recall, uh, was a lot smaller. Yeah, I'll put up a picture right there. Yeah, definitely smaller. Um, I prefer this uh, footprint. A little bit easier to hold and just all around feels like a better built meter. Currently, we have the 136B+, Plus connected to the voltage reference. It's been heating up now for about 15 minutes. And we are sitting at 249.8 millivolts, so we're off by two counts. Another neat feature with the new 136B Plus is the alarm. I'm going to go ahead and take my test lead from the millivolt to the regular voltage. Now we should be looking at 2.50 volts. I have not changed from the millivolt setting. And as you can see, we are getting that alarm indicator saying we have to change ranges. Excellent. All right, sitting now at 2.499 volts oh so close and lead just moved 2.499 hey close enough another improvement with the 136b plus is that rotary switch itself on the old one it was kind of a very quirky feel um it did have a nice click but I just didn't like the way it could kind of bypass ranges on the fly. The new 136, much better feel, uh, a little more uh, reactive, not gonna fly over a switch, and generally speaking, I like it. One millivolt resolution, no problem for the 136B+. Plus. Excellent. Next up is diode mode. I've got these nice needle nose extenders. Just goes on top of the regular probe comes. Uh, and we're just gonna stick those in. Let's start with the green LED. And it's lit ever so barely. Let's move over to the yellow. Same idea, barely lit. We do have the four voltage drop indicator as well. Move over to the red. And yeah, no worries there. Any luck with the blue? No, no can do with the blue. Let's move it over to the white LED. And same thing, nada. So three for five in terms of illumination and the forward voltage drawn. 2.7 volts, the output voltage in diode mode. I'm gonna run a quick resistance test now, starting at one mega ohm, switch it over to resistance. And hey, spot on, nice and fast. 2 mega ohm, 3 mega ohm, 5 mega ohm. So we're losing that resolution now that we are over 4 mega ohm. This is only a 4,000 count meter. 6 mega ohm, 9 mega ohm. Yeah, nice and fast. No worries there. Do a couple more resistors. Let's first check out the leads. Do we have any resistance on them? No, that was nice and fast. Alrighty. Starting things off on the low side, 0.5 ohm. Wow, spot on. And 22 mega ohm. 23. Continuity is next. Here we go, default test leads. Let's put it into continuity mode. There we go. Three, two, one. Wow. Loud, latched, looking good. Next up, Probe Masters, here we go. Perfect, 9.5 out of 10. In comparison to the older UT39C Plus, which had amazing continuity as well, you see there was that visual LED, that indicator down there. So the audio and the visual, I love it, I love it. Why did they take it away? Why, oh why, I have no idea.
The newer 136B Plus is definitely not as loud in the continuity department. No, it's less by around 10 decibels. So 74.7, the output decibel mode for the 136B Plus. Ah, makes me so mad. Voltage showdown time sitting at just over 200 millivolts. We have the new 136B Plus on the right, 39C Plus on the left. Here we go, taking it up, up, and away. 3.2 volts. Yeah, looking good. 3.3, 3.2. Taking it higher. 9.1 volts. 9.17 for the 136B plus 9.2 for the old guy. Taking it up to 17, 18, 18.5 18 volts. 18.5 spot on for the 136B. 18.6 for the 139. Up and away, 25.3 volts, according to the power supply. Look at that, 25.3 for the 136B plus 25.4 for the 39. And we're maxing it at now 31.5 volts. And we are in high voltage territory, according to the 39C plus. And as well, we're getting the high voltage warning audible beep on the 136B. Excellent, good stuff. Well, I'm gonna have to give this Voltage Showdown to the all-new 136B+. Plus. It was pretty well spot on. I like it. Now, both of these meters are missing a bar graph, but uh, if we play with the voltage a little bit, in terms of overall response, let's just leave it on. Yeah, definitely the 136B+, Plus is just a tad quicker. We are sitting in frequency mode right now. Now, remember, this only had a posted max of four megahertz look at that we're already sitting at five not an issue take it up to six seven eight megahertz going strong nine megahertz ten megahertz and that's where i am maxed out and look at that no problems with the 136b plus for frequency so a good six megahertz stronger than it's advertised Max, good stuff. Fascinance is next. Let's start off with a 10 nanofarad cap. Yay, looking good. Okay, let's try a 10 millifarad capacitor, 10,000 microfarad. It is thinking it's a millifarad mode now. It's discharging the capacitor. I love the verbosity. It's really nice when the meter tells you what's going on. It's thinking. Wow, so we are having some issues in capacitance. Hey, that's really too bad. This meter was kicking the llama's butt up until this point. Oh, it is going nowhere in a hurry. So we have a problem with the high capacitance. Already I have this 4.7 uh, millifarad 4700 microfarad capacitor and it can read this without any issue um, let's try it one more time with that 10 millifarad cap and we see it is just struggling can do and just to verify that 39c plus the older brother has no problem with that 10 millifarad cap 9.55 millifarad so for whatever reason um between the 5 and 10 millifarad range on the 136b plus it ain't working ah too bad high voltage mode is next we're going to take it up to a thousand volts dc here we go three two one And we're getting an audible indicator of high voltage. And we are just under a thousand volts. And it looks like no worries here. We just hit a thousand volts and it is all fine. Already, 
No worries in the high voltage department. Good stuff. EV non-contact voltage. Now, if you remember, the um, 39C had a, a built-in antenna. And uh, we'll soon find out if this has the same. So in terms of sensitivity, it's picking it up, although it's not giving us an increased uh, sensitivity uh, indicator. And I was expecting a little bit more verbosity out of this one in NCV mode, but uh, eh, it's a pass. Already we're in milliamp mode right now and not an issue sitting at 300 milliamps and looking good. It's going to bring it up a little bit here. 360, 380, 400 milliamps. Now te technically this is where we are maxed out. I believe there's a 500 milliamp fuse in here. I'll just take it up a little longer. Yeah, it won't even let us go any higher. Bring it back down. So 400 milliamps is the threshold. Take off that battery cover. We have a nice threaded insert there. So that's always good to see. Power by taking a look on the inside. We've got the old model, the 39C on the left, followed by the new guy on the right. Starting off, we will go at the input jacks. And yeah, those look identical. That small metal filament and uh, solder wise going right through the PCB. Um, generally, no worries there. The current shunt, once again, the exact same that they've utilized in both meters. And um, here we have an inclusion of two additional PTCs on the new model. So we have four PTCs now as opposed to two in the older one. And that is on the voltage side of things. The fuses are identical on the milliamp side. It's 500 milliamps and the 10 amp on the high current side. Both ceramic fuses both that hard to find smaller size. Not the crazy small we see in some of the meters, but yeah, small enough. Both meters also utilize a diode clamp, just a slightly different position on the new one. Funny thing is the older model had a louder sounding continuity, but look at that, the speaker is identical. Finally at the top, the NCV non-contact voltage. Filament is built into the PCB itself and it looks identical in both models. Generally speaking, not a big difference in either model. The ICs are both top. Now it is a slightly larger IC on the newer model, but uh, yeah, that's about Overall it. fit and finish wise, pretty clean. Both PCBs are nicely laid out, lots of space, and really in the cheapo zone, not Closing much to thoughts on the UT 136B Plus. I like it. Yeah, this is mostly an improvement over the old UT 39C Plus, and I do say mostly. It's too bad, once again, that continuity, they took away the visual. Why, why, why? The cutout is there, you should have kept it. Also not as loud, and that is a shame. Definite improvement over the backlight. Hey, five minutes works for me. It's crisp, it's clear, it's a nice typeset, bold font. I like it. Capacitance mold was a bit of a fail. I couldn't get past the five mil farad mark. That's too bad. Other than that, all the ranges were speedy. Frequency was a plus six. Yeah, we're talking 10 megahertz when it was rated for four. Overall, what can I say? Unity UT136B Plus, definite improvement over its younger brother. And at the price I paid around 22 bucks Canadian, it's pretty hard to go wrong. Let's hope the capacitance issue is just a one-off and it's nothing serious. Overall, I'm gonna give the 136B Plus a solid 3.5. Thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.